hello everyone in this video we will see how to convert that static web asp.net core app into mvc core app so there are two steps which are required in that first we need to add the service to configure service method the second thing i need to configure route so route configurations can be done in configure method these are the two things that I need to do if I want to convert my app into ASP.NET MVC core web app. So once we do that, we will also try to understand what is bower.json file and what is app setting.json file. So let's see demo for that. I'm going to comment this out or I can leave it as is. There is no issue in it. First of all, I'll add because my app can have static files as well as MVC files, everything, no issue. I'll say services dot add MVC. This is the first step that we need to do. Next, I need to have routing configuration. So that routing configuration, I'll simply copy it from here. Like we were saying app use static file in the same way I need to say app use MVC. So while using MVC, I'm going to set the route. Routes.map, the route name is and the controller is default home controller and index and all those things. I'll save this. Now, what do I need? I need folder for controllers. Say add new folder. And I'll name it as controllers. The names are very important. So controllers. Now let me rebuild this. Before I add controller, I want to see everything is working fine. Now I'll add a controller. I'm going to add empty controller. I'll name it as employee. Employee controller. So it is making all the settings. It is making all the configurations. Now you see that I get employee controller, which is inheriting the class controller. Now let the return type be string. And I want to return a string and I'll say this string is from MVC controller save this now let me execute default controller is home and default page is home so it is giving default page no anyway we do not have home controller now just if even if we have home controller it will give default page why because the pipeline we have default file first then we have MVC my mapping now I'll say employee. I get this string is from MVC. So it is hitting the controller. Fine. And I'll say index.html. Everything. Everything is working as expected. Now. Copy this. We comment it out. Now, now I'll, I'll return action result why because i want to introduce views now let me rebuild before i do anything it is better if i keep on rebuilding the things so that i have all the settings perfect all the DLLs, they get the perfect references. Now, I'll just right click on view and I'll say add view. Index view, empty template. I'm not going to use any model for that as of now. I'll say add. I should get a views folder. In that, I should get employee folder. In that, I should have index file. The same pattern that we have been working for MVC. So I get views folder. I get employees folder in that I have index file. Now here, whatever you want, you can use. I'll say index of 
view save this now i'll set the default controller as employee now let me execute so we are getting again the home page or home.html as the default page why because i told you the order is important now let me see whether it is rendering view or not yes it is rendering view perfectly i'll show you the importance of the order i'll move this up now you see that by default i get index of view so now the default controller is being hit that is employee so it is not going to the default page home.html why because it is in the latter order so order is very important here it matters